It's bad enough to be injured on the job, but things will be a lot worse if you don't get workers' comp benefits. If you can't work, how are you gonna pay your medical bills? I don't know, sir. Unfortunately, people sometimes make careless mistakes that result in their claims being denied. Knowing what to do and what not to do will make a big difference if you suffer an injury while at work. Here are the top five mistakes to avoid if you get injured at work. Check it out. Number five, saying the wrong thing to your boss. You can't do that to me. I'm your boss. When you're injured on the job, you need to tell your boss explicitly that you've been injured in an accident at work. You can't just say, I need to go to the doctor. They'll say, great, I don't care. Go on your own time. You need to spell it out. I was just hurt in a work accident and need to see a worker's comp doctor. It's important to tell your boss immediately after the accident and to also put it in writing. Even a simple text message to your boss is enough to prevent them from pretending like they don't know what the heck happened to you, when we know they do. Make it as hard as possible for them to play dumb. Remember, you have a limited amount of time to report your accident, so do it as soon as possible. Number four, not seeking medical attention right away. What do you need? Doctor! Now, if you report your accident, Tell your boss it's urgent that you see a doctor right away, but then you take your sweet time and wait a few days to actually see the workers' comp doctor. How do you think that's going to look to the insurance company? That's right, like you're not really hurt. It's super important to seek medical attention right away, not only for your physical well being, but also for your credibility and to increase your chances of getting a weekly workers' comp check. Remember, as the injured worker, you have the burden of proving an accident that leads to an injury. Document everything. The best way to document your injuries is to seek a medical opinion from a doctor. Make sure you go immediately after your accident. Don't go on vacation. Don't go visit your Aunt Gladys. Go to the doctor. This is one of the most common workers' compensation mistakes out there. All right, number three, failing to provide an accurate medical history. One of the most serious workers' compensation mistakes is not providing doctors with an honest and accurate account of what happened to you, as well as failing to provide an accurate medical history. You may be tempted to leave out pre-existing issues out of fear that they may prevent you from getting workers' comp benefits. Now, while every state is different, generally speaking, it is okay. It's fine. It's okay, guys, to have pre-existing issues. Everyone has them they're not gonna prevent you from being taken seriously, so don't hide anything. Here in Georgia, for example, an aggravation of a pre-existing condition is a valid workers' comp injury, and it will not prevent you from getting workers' comp benefits. You know what will prevent you from getting workers' comp benefits? That's right, lying to your doctors. I was lying. <laughs> it was a lie to get drugs. You know, like a crime. Do not lie to your doctors, guys. That's the quickest way to sabotage your otherwise valid workers' comp claim. By the way, if you're new to my channel, I'm Rick DeMaderos, the work comp guy. I'm a workers' compensation lawyer in the Atlanta area, but I represent injured workers all across the state of Georgia. I'm all about helping and educating injured workers. So if you have a workers' comp claim in Georgia and are interested in me representing you, please reach out to me. My contact information is on the screen and all of my links are down below in the description. If you don't live in Georgia, never fear. I can still help you. Just reach out to me and I can refer you to a rock star lawyer in your area who will be able to help you. And don't forget, smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you don't miss my next video and leave me a comment or question below. I'm here to help. Now, back to the video. Number two, going to the doctor your boss recommends. As much as you want to believe your boss is looking out for your well being, spoiler alert, they're not. Ultimately, you have a right to choose which doctor you'd like to see, even if your employer has a list of doctors. Now, you still get to choose off that list, not your employer. So, again, to recap, if your employer has a list of doctors, they don't get to choose the doctor. You get to choose that doctor. 
The reason this can turn into a workers' compensation mistake is that some bosses push their employees to visit more, uh, say, employer-friendly doctors. They may say, oh, yeah, uh, Dr. Uh, Kevorkian, he's closer to your house. Or, yeah, Dr. Doom, good guy, he will really take good care of you. <gasps> good enough for me? No. These are the doctors who tend to give the employer what they want, such as saying an injured employee is okay to work full duty when they really are not. Bonus tip, if your employer did not have a valid posted panel of physicians in place on the date of the accident, then you and your lawyer get to pick any doctor you want to be your authorized treating physician. And the insurance company, guess what? Has to pay for it. All right, number one, not hiring an excellent workers' comp attorney. When it comes to hiring a lawyer, it's also important that you hire the right one. Let's say your uncle has a friend who's an attorney, but this attorney just occasionally helps clients with workers' comp issues. He's not gonna know the ins and outs of workers' compensation law like someone who specializes in workers' comp. Your best bet of recovering workers' comp benefits is to hire a specialist in that area of law. Hey, you're the right guy for this. Because they will know how to guide you in your claim, not just at the beginning, but throughout your entire case. Until the end. A good workers' comp lawyer will get you the best treatment, more benefits, and higher settlements because they understand this area of the law so well. So there you have it, the top five mistakes that will prevent you from getting workers' comp benefits. I hope this discussion helps you in your workers' compensation claim. I wanna hear from you. Are you afraid you made a mistake I didn't mention here? Do you have an idea for a future video? Leave me a comment below. For now, Work Comp Guy, out.